Hello and welcome to the transcription tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to discuss how you can do transcription using Fluency's transcription tool for audio, video, and image files. So to start off with we're going to go to Tools and Transcription, OCR. Okay, here we have just a clean slate where we can actually type in or perform our transcription. From the file menu we can open a transcription source Fluency allows you to open uh, various media formats, including images, video, and audio formats. In the case of an audio format, or image format, or excuse me, video format, Fluency will open up the audio file, and you can control it from here. Uh, the playback and the speed, if we right click on this, we can actually change the, the playback speed. From the help menu, we have some keyboard shortcuts to initiate uh, play and pause, uh, inserting time codes, fast forward and rewinding. And then, of course, you can then perform a transcription here. We have various formatting options to assist in that. If we use an image, And the translator can simply, or excuse me, the transcriptionist can simply do the transcription here. And you can manipulate the image to make it easier to see. Zoom in and resizing. One of the other options that Fluency has is an uh, OCR system, or optical character recognition. And this is for simple images that you would like to have the computer scan the image and try and perform the transcription for you. This system is compatible with scanned PDFs, so images or documents that were scanned in on a scanner, for example, or again, just regular images. In this one, we're actually going to use the scanned PDF here. And we select the language that the document is in. On this screen, we indicate if any of the pages need to be rotated, if they're laying on their side, either left or the right side. In this case, all of our images are already ready for us to go. So we'll click OK. Wait for the conversion, and then we wait for Fluency to recognize the text. This particular document is about three pages long. Once the transcription process, or excuse me, the OCR process is complete, transcriptionist can then go back in and add the formatting. And a lot of this is just the same as you would see in Microsoft Word. And then we pick out any of the OCR mistakes that had occurred during the OCR process. Once you're done with the transcription, you can save the transcription to uh, various formats, including Microsoft Word, or we can jump right into a translation process. And we're on our way. So we just went from an image to text to translation in a matter of minutes. And this concludes the transcription tutorial.